gonna get ready to do the front the front splash cards uh, I have them you can see them by the back of the car I have them sitting out in the Sun to warm everything up get the uh, glue nice and sticky I'm gonna clean both sides the tires are gonna be I'm gonna have to move the tires uh, each side that I'm on but right now I'm just going to wash right now I'm just gonna wash both surfaces okay so what I have to do is pull out the push pins I like two screwdrivers. Okay, there's one out. Two out. Three out. Oh, shoot, this one broke. Unbelievable. Okay, so there's all four of them out. It says not to reuse these. I'm actually going to keep them for emergencies. I'm going to clean that while I'm here. I'm going to clean all this and dry it. I washed it and it's still a little wet. I'm going to clean, I'm going to dry this off behind here. Ugh, road grime. So what they're recommending doing is putting, before taking the tape off, to put these pins in. Get everything in place. Make sure it's where you want it. Let me get my masking tape. And then they're recommending to pull the tape and push up at the same time. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to tape this in right now. Last thing I want to happen is for this to fall out. I'm going to start on the car side. This is why I cleaned everything. I'm going to wrap the tape around the lip. The fender well, the fender lip. There, now this front's not going to go anywhere. In fact, I might do it. The tape goes all the way to the end. I'll do one more. I'll make sure that entire tip is covered. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to work my way down and push in. that all the way in push that all the way in push that all the way in push that all the way in Okay, I'm getting ready to do the uh, rear splash guards. You can hardly tell the front ones are on. They're very low profile. But I'm 
but they look nice. So I jacked up the car, both sides. The first thing you do if you don't know is you break the lugs free, you just loosen them up. They'll be a lot easier to remove if you loosen them. So this is pretty much everything you need to do this job. This is front and back. The front's already done, so I only have eight push-in pins left. You need drill bits for the rear, not the front. The front utilizes the existing holes. The rear, you have to drill holes. It says to use a 2164 drill. I am going to drill a smaller hole, a pilot hole, just to make sure I have no problems drilling a large hole on location. The marker to mark the hole locations. Your tools required for removing the lugs. You need your wheel chocks. These are extras. My front wheels are chalked. You need a drill. Okay, well here we go. Straight in. This is important. Okay, I can see them. I don't know, guys, I, for, I forgot to uh, <clears throat> put safety glasses on my workbench. Another required item when using power tools. Plus, I'm going to be laying down looking up. So, I'm going to start out with the smaller size drill. Nice, slow, controlled drill. Okay, so there's my pilot drill. Before I make the bigger hole, I'm going to just make sure everything lines up. I'm going to lay this over and just, oh yeah, I can see. Pretty close. the bigger drill. I failed on this one. I didn't rip the... Okay, that was a big fail. A big, epic fail. There we go. sure it's not raised up. Okay, good to go. This side's ready.
going to put the pins in here first. Make it a lot easier to line this up. Okay, my pins are in. It looks really good. So, it's aligned really nice. No gaps. You can see the scuffing where the adhesive is. Okay, aligned real nice. going to put a piece of tape on the top just to hold it in place while I very carefully remove the tape down here and put it in place. Okay. Pushing it in while I pull the tape up. Okay, there we go. Apply some pressure. I'm going to make sure it's sealed before I actually push the pins in. Okay, I believe I'm in. I'm gonna push these pins in and let's see how it goes. Push the pins in, hold the tape in and push the pin, hold it on the tape seam and push the pin. Actually guys, that went real slick. So there's the finished there's the splash card. Very subtle. You can't see anywhere where I scuffed the clear coat. Fits real nice. <laughs>